Pico 4 accessories, the everything list. The VR market has been firmly in control for the past two years. However, MetaQuest 2 quickly established a quantity monopoly by offering beginner-friendly virtual reality at an unbeatable price. The Pico 4 is the first virtual reality headset to challenge this position. Despite having slightly better hardware, it works independently, offers well-known VR games, and costs less than the MetaQuest 2. ByDance, the parent company of TikTok and a competitor to Meta, acquired Pico in the summer of 2021. The owner of the fast-growing social network is now competing with Meta in the virtual reality space by investing in technology and pricing its products aggressively, while Pico previously sold its VR products primarily to enterprises and Chinese consumers. The company is now expanding into the Western market as ByteDance. The Pico Neo 3 Link was the first to hit the market. Pico officially unveiled the Pico 4 on September 22nd after so much speculation. This is the first time Western consumers can choose between two low-cost standalone headsets, MetaQuest 2 and Pico 4. Although the Pico 4 incorporates some new VR technologies, it is not a direct competitor to the Meta's upcoming Quest Pro VR headset, the Pico 4 Pro which will be released later, is better suited for this purpose. But if you want to learn more about this VR headset, then MetaHub got your back. Today's video shows you the latest update and everything you need to know about this fantastic product. So watch until the end and stay tuned with MetaHub to never miss out on more videos like this. Here we begin. Pricing and release date. Pico 4 pre-orders will begin in October, with prices starting at €430 Euros for the 128GB model and €500 Euros for the 256GB model. Those who have purchased a Neo 3 Link will be able to pre-order as early as tomorrow. Pico 4 will be available on October 18th in 13 European countries, as well as Japan and Korea with plans to launch in Singapore and Malaysia later this year, as well as in China in the future. According to the company, Pico 4 will not be released in the United States. Accessories Pico has also announced plans to release three first-party Pico 4 accessories in 2023. In addition to the headset, they are all 50 pounds and come with a fitness tracker for more accurate fitness training a wireless dongle for wireless PC, VR, and a carrying case. It is said that the headset gives a major visual boost. Difficult for wireless VR headsets to achieve particularly powerful graphics, but the Pico 4 will have a 90HZ refresh rate, 4K plus screen, 1200 ppi, and the 1050 feet field of view. Compared to the Quest 2, which has a PPI of around 730 and a 90 FOV, given that the Pico 4 will support many of the Quest 2 games, it could provide gamers with a graphical boost that they'll appreciate. Pico's team also stated that the headset's color vibrance is dramatically increased over the Pico Neo 3 Link, which was released earlier this year. We're still determining whether the headset lenses will be OLED or LCD, but we're guessing the latter because that's what the previous headset used. Offers Pancake Ops The Ultralight Design The Pico 4 will feature Pancake Ops, a lens designed that holds light in such a way that the display can be placed much closer to your eyes can take up much less space than traditional pressure lenses. As a result, the Pico 4 weighs 295G slash 10.4 on without the strap and 500G with the strap. The Pico 4 strap, like the Elite strap with battery, has a built-in battery and fit wheel. 
which adds significant weight over the standard strap. However, according to the company, the Pico 4 is designed to work without any additional accessories and has a really neutral weight description. Distribution between front and back. In contrast, the Quest 2 and other headsets are much more front heavy. Clear pass through and IPD adjustments. Anyone who has grown tired of Quest 2's grainy black and white pass through should rejoice. The Pico 4 has a 16 MP RGB camera with full color pass through, so you can see your surroundings. For example, if you hear someone in the room talking to you or you think the cat is soaking in the ground around your feet, simply use the pass through shortcut and investigate. Pico's improved camera may also enable better AR or mixed reality experiences. You'll be able to see more clearly because the Pico 4 has far superior IPD adjustments than the Quest 2. It will in particular have a 0.5 mm stepless IPD adjustment within the system settings. In addition, whereas the Quest 2 has only three fixed distances that may not correspond to your eye width. The Pico 4 has more fine-tuning options, with at least 20 different levels to choose from. Freaking cool remote assistance. During our private presentation, we learned that about a cool software tool called remote assistance, which allows you to invite a friend to piggyback on your headset feed and assist you with your settings or game. I can share my headset video stream to their personal device, and they can either voice message or chat with me, or even use their finger, and I'll see a silhouette of their finger on my display to basically give me support they explained. If I get stuck on the level and can't find a solution in this play environment, my friend will be able to assist me. TikToks is now in VR. ByteDance, the Chinese company behind the viral app TikTok, owns Pico, and it's leveraging its parents' assistance by integrating TikTok into the Pico video app. You'll log into your account on the headset and enjoy your video feed while relaxing in virtual space. It's still being determined whether people will enjoy vertical videos designed for a phone surrounded by empty space, but some of its fans might. Users are more likely to use the TikTok integration to share their gaming feed with their TikTok followers. During the keynote, Pico demonstrated its mixed reality functionality, in which players can install the Pico app on their smartphone and record their physical selves playing a VR game. The app will then super remote the virtual world around the player to create more engaging videos. Narrow controllers for incredible immersion. Because of the widest of the Oculus Touch controllers, Quest 2 owners will inevitably collide with one another at some point. This is because the Pico 4 controllers feature a one-piece rotating arc column that houses the IR sensors above your hands rather than in front of them. The controllers themselves are very narrow to avoid colliding when playing games that require your hands to be close together. Pico also boasted about the improved high fix of the controllers. It made use of a very powerful hypersense motor within the controllers that allow feedback from 50 to 500 Hz frequency to produce a powerful but distant rumble. Pico Fitness Band will monitor the VR workouts. The Quest 2 currently includes Move for Tracking Calories, Burn While Playing Exercise VR Games, but it does not pair with a fitness tracker for more accurate results. Pico intends to sell a fitness tracker accessory for 49 euros that will be worn on your wrist and ankle and will be tracked by the headset. 
This will provide the headset with two additional points of tracking. For games such as VR Soccer, where handheld controllers are ineffective, or for creating a virtual full body pose. However, it simply will not collect heart rate data like a proper fitness tracker. Pushes the multi-platform gaming. In addition to Steam VR support, the Pico Neo 3 Link has about 130 games in its library, which will only grow. Pico claims to be working with the developer commu community to ensure that all popular third-party games are released on Pico on the same day that they are released on other platforms. The headset is powered by the same Snapdragon XR2 chip as previous standalone VR headsets, so performance is predictable. Puzzling Places Walking Dead Saints and Sinners Chapter 2 Rec Room and Demento are among the Quest 2 games confirmed for the headset. So, what do you think about the Pico 4 headset and its accessories? Do you find headset worth it? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe to MetaHub for such videos.